Hey, this is Jamie with Useful Knowledge. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade fig preserves. This fig preserve recipe has been passed down through my family for generations. It's figs, sugar, and water. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make them, then I'm going to show you how to can them. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to go through your figs to make sure you don't have any rotten ones like that one right there. And also to make sure you don't have any real green ones in here. Okay, once you've washed all your figs, you want to start cutting the stem off. And I just go through them and just cut them like that. For my fig preserves, I leave the figs whole and cook them down for about two hours. Okay, so I've got my figs washed and stemmed and I've got my sugar and my water. And here's the recipe. For ever how many figs you have, and these are whole figs, you use half that amount of sugar. And then, however much sugar you have, you use half that amount of water. So here's the recipe for tonight. I've got 12 cups of whole figs. I've got six cups of sugar, and I've got three cups of water. And we're gonna put this in this pot, and we're gonna put it on a medium, and these things are gonna simmer down for about two hours before they are ready to can. Okay, so we've got that on a medium, and we're gonna stir up the water and the sugar into the figs. And like I said, this is gonna take a long time, so you have to be patient. It's gonna be about two hours before this is ready. Okay, our figs have just started to simmer. And we're gonna keep this on medium and keep an eye on it. And just keep watching it and stirring. Okay, our figs have been simmering for about 30 minutes. And what I want to show you here, is you see they're starting to change colors. They've reduced in size a lot. And you want to let them simmer slow because you don't want to cook out your liquid and get your liquid too thick before your figs are actually cooked down and ready for canning. So that's just a tip for you. Okay, we are about one hour in and our fig preserves are looking pretty good. The figs have really cooked down and our liquid is not yet thick, so we do have a long ways to go. We have about one more hour before we can can these fig preserves. So we're gonna keep letting them simmer. Okay, these figs have been cooking for almost two hours and they've cooked down really nicely. So what I wanna do now is I wanna see how thick the juice is actually getting. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on a little saucer and I'm going to see how thick it is when it cools off. Okay, this is cooled down. So as you can see, the liquid in these fig preserves is actually getting pretty thick. So this is almost ready. I'm going to go ahead and put the jars in the oven and put my lids on the eye over here and get ready for canning. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get our jars in the oven at 250 degrees. I'm expecting four to five jars of figs out of this batch, so I'm gonna put in one extra jar just in case. Okay, our figs are almost ready, so we're gonna go ahead and get our lids warmed up. We have our jars in the oven at 250 degrees, and we are almost ready to can these figs. Okay, we're ready to can our figs. We just pulled these jars out of the oven at 250 degrees and our figs are still simmering. We just turned them off a minute ago and they have cooked down for about two hours. We're gonna fill these jars up and can them. Okay, so what I like to do is fill the jar up with figs and then finish it off with some juice. up to the edge of the canning funnel. That way you have a jar full of figs and then you have it topped off with juice. Because as you can see, these figs are still, still together. And they're not squashed. Okay, so our 12 cups of figs, six cups of sugar, and three cups of water yielded four pints of 
fig preserves after about two hours of cooking. So we're getting ready to can these and we're going to clean off the tops of these jars with a wet paper towel. That way we'll make sure we get a good seal with our lids. Now we did yield an extra batch of syrup. That's actually a eight ounce jar of fig syrup that was left over. We're going to can that while we're at it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our lid, we're going to dry it off, and we're going to place it on top of our jar. We're going to do each one of these like this. And we're going to put on our band and tighten it up. Okay, and we're going to turn each one of these over. So if you read an old Southern Living canning book from the early 70s, the reason you turn that over is to kill any mold spore that may have gotten on the uh, the lid in, be in between the, the drying process of drying the lid off. So we're going to turn those over for five minutes. We're going to turn them back over and we'll wait for them to seal. Okay, our jars have been upside down for five minutes. We are going to turn them over and we are done with these fig preserves. And we did have one jar of fig syrup. So these will seal up in about 30 minutes and they'll be ready to go in the pantry. So we hope you gained some useful knowledge on the process of canning fig preserves. Thanks for watching.